Let's turn now to uh, Eric Prince. Eric Prince, infamous, just war criminal, uh, former Blackwater head and uh, Betsy DeVos's brother, for people who don't know. He went on Tucker Carlson's show yesterday, the daytime one, the one where Tucker gets to wear a flannel because he's a part of the American dream and he's just just like you and me and maybe that's also why the whole set looks like it's you know in, in some sort of wood sh shop a very fancy one it's in the neo-confederate workshop right uh that's where they make the crosses that they burn eric prince it came out that he's uh selling flights out of afghanistan for six thousand five hundred dollars a ticket because you know he can't miss an opportunity to make a buck in a war zone but he revealed, if it wasn't apparent already by his actions and his just general bloodthirstiness, how he truly feels about non-American, specifically Muslims, and just kind of how he views, views them as animals and imbeciles in this lovely chat with Tucker Carlson. This can be, this is an extremely dangerous time for the US military, solely from the bad political leadership and the senior officers making those decisions. There is, and sadly, it's the rank and file. It's the E3, the E5, and the, and the lieutenants and the captains that bear the brunt from really, really, really bad decisions in Washington. So I'm kind of fixated on the airfield question because I just think that, that distills the bad decision making pretty yep. perfectly. So you have Bagram, former Soviet air base, which we extended into- Oh, it's be, like 13,000 feet long. It's gotta be one of the biggest in the region, right? Yep. I mean, it's a very serious yep. air base. We don't control it anymore, but that's clearly the obvious staging ground for an evacuation, right? Yep. Can we can we use it now? Uh, the Taliban immediately had uh, thousands of uh, of people occupy the airfield, and again, they even lacked the, <laughs> the the nuance for how do you get a bunch of uh, you know thousands of people to move off of a runway quickly? Do an airdrop of of of, of a million one dollar bills two kilometers away. Trust me, all those people will leave the airfield, and you could re you could reoccupy it without a shot fired. This is not rocket science, but it's the, <laughs> but it's the lack of creativity that you have in those in those officers that just think so inside the box they're stuck in it. Hell, you don't even have to drop real dollars, photocopy dollars, drop them two kilometers away, and all those Afghans will leave the airfield. Done. Why would I mean? It's a brilliant idea. That's a brilliant idea, folks. That sounds like one of those ideas that you hear about 50 years later as like a way to assassinate Castro or like one of those like World War II allied plans. Like, oh, we're going to drop pornography over Hitler's uh, vacation home to give him a heart attack when he sees just all this interracial porn we're dropping. And, and in reality, you know, I'm pretty sure the Taliban has probably seized millions of dollars at our many, many military bases that we've left unoccupied mm -hmm. and full of weapons there. So well, you know, what's another million? They're working out on the 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 equipment that we provided, and they're, they've stolen all the arms and technology that we've flooded into that country. As I said, it's like a beautiful full circle moment, right? We provided the Mujahideen with arms, hand uh, handshake agreements with with Ronald Reagan, and now they're getting even more from us in the circle of life situation. It's really quite beautiful. But like the thing about Eric Prince, one, I thought Tucker Carlson was an anti-war crusader who really was principled in that stance and that's why some leftists think that he's able to uh speak to some of the same issues as them i'm being sarcastic of course but um that's why he's having eric prince on who's like the prince of darkness as he's been referred to one of the like most evil war profiteers in the world um well i'm sure i'm sure at some point right after that clip cuts out on this the version we put on this show he gets him in a, carlson gets him in a real gotcha question or uh -huh. something like that i'm sure yeah, that's why he was giggling along as he as tucker carlson has referred to muslims as monkeys as he envisions these people that he looks down upon scrambling for these fake dollar bills they're being thrown from planes like that's fake, truly the how they, they that's how they see the people that they want to conquer as just like primal and not that intelligent and when eric prince talks about creativity or whatever is like they're not thinking outside the box what he means is they should be hiring me to do this like i can think outside the box aka murder outside the bounds of law <laughs> You know, absolutely. also thinking outside the box is like what, like from a, it's like an idea from a Bugs Bunny cartoon, literally. Like it feels like something that seems like it's straight out of an episode of the Looney Tunes. I mean, come on.
I mean, I think the far right have a difficult time right now. And that's not necessarily the Eric Prince's who just want to make money off of this like military industrial complex grift. But the Tucker Carlson's out there have to, you know, uh, tread a very thin line between like condemning the Taliban, which many on the far right seem to be also, you know, praising for their ability to defeat the woke military of the United States slash like do uh, regressive policies in their country versus like their desire to be involved in a, a endless military uh, quagmire in the Middle East to prove our sort of, you know, geopolitical dominance. So, I mean, Tucker Carlson's fans are probably a lot more split on the politics of the Taliban than they are necessarily on the politics of being at infinite war with them. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.